Today we have an exciting property to discuss a house in the Santa Clara that's recently hit the market for 1.199 million. This offers a three bedrooms, two bathrooms and spans up to 1,181 square feet. However, it does require some renovation work. Built in 1963, this house sits on a generous lot measuring 6,255 square feet. Despite its need for a renovation, it attracted a lot of attention from potential buyers. In fact, the listing agent shared some interesting information with us. A total of 22 offers were received for this property and it ended up selling for over 250k more than the listing price. Let's take a closer look at the breakdown of the offer prices. We can see that there was fierce competition among buyers with offers ranging from 1.2 million to well above 1.4 million. It's clear that this house generated a lot of interest in the market. Now let's talk about the types of financing that buyers opted for. Out of the 22 offers received, a majority of buyers opted for a loan, with the 21 offers falling into this category. Surprisingly, only three offers were made with all cash financing and the seller decided not to accept any of them. Moving on to down payments, let's see how buyers approach this aspect of their offers. Buyers displayed a varying levels of commitment with their down payments. While some opted for all cash purchases or put down more than 50%, others choose to offer down payments ranging from 20% to 40%. These numbers highlight the different financial strategies employed by potential buyers. Next, let's look at the different timelines for closing the escrows. Buyers had different preferences when it came to closing the escrow. The majority were comfortable with a 30 day time frame, while some were eager to close the deals in as little as 7 days. Flexibility and speed seems to be an important factor in this competitive market. I know who are the 7 days closing, uh, it's more of a cash buyers who would have preferred to close it in the 7 days. Lastly, let's discuss the option of rent back for the seller, as this seller preferred to stay up with July 31st. Out of the 22 offers, 17 buyers were willing to provide the seller with the option of a rent back, allowing them to stay in the house for a certain period of time after the sale. However, 5 buyers did not offer this option. Now, before we wrap up, I want to discuss an interesting trend that might impact the housing market in Santa Clara. As many of you know, chip designer NVIDIA has been making waves in the stock market to the AI boom. This surge in NVIDIA's share could have a significant influence on the housing market here. With advancements in artificial intelligence and potential growth of NVIDIA, it's possible that we will see an increased demand for housing in Santa Clara. This could drive up the prices even further, making it an opportune time to invest in a real estate. What do you think about this recent development? Are you considering buying a house in Santa Clara or the surrounding areas? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you are needed for a local realtor to help you navigate the market, don't hesitate to reach out to me.